Hey YouTube, it's Tony with The Lawn Fellows. Today what we're gonna do is something that every mower should have, even if it's a residential mower. I'm not sure why that mower companies don't do this. I mean, if you look through the book, it tells you to keep track of the hours of the mower. It doesn't tell you to keep track of anything else. You gotta change the oil at 50 hours, change the air filter at 100 hours. So why not put an hour meter on it? So today, this is what we're gonna do. I got this hour meter from uh, Amazon and I'll give you a closer look to it um, right here on my old mower because I did get a new Time Master. So uh, stick around for this one and we're gonna put an hour meter on the Time Master. So here's my old uh, Time Master as you can see. I got the same exact uh, brand as it's on there right now. So, but I didn't do a video of me putting that on there. So I'm gonna kinda uh, show you guys how to put this on. I think this was $9 on Amazon. Again, I'm not sure why the mower companies don't do something like this, uh, but if you know why they don't do it, uh, put it in the comments. I mean, this is a $9 hour meter off of Amazon. Very simple to install, and I'm gonna show you right here uh, on my new Time Master. I like to put these on there to keep track. Uh, you know that uh, Toro, uh, Honda, etc. All the mower companies tell you to keep track of the hours. So uh, that's what we're going to do. But you need an hour meter. I'm not sure, again, why they don't do it, but apparently they don't. So as you can see, it's brand new. The reason why I got another Time Master is this handle right here snapped. And I had to finish my day with a 21 inch, and that was not fun. But I did get this weld in a fix, so it works like new, no big deal. But uh, if that ever happens again, I definitely don't want to push a 21 inch. I want to push the 30 inch. That's the reason why I got it. So let's get into this one. And uh, hopefully you can see the lighting might be bad here in my garage. But I'm going to try to set you up somewhere with the GoPro. So be right back. Okay, so here's the hour meter. Doesn't take any batteries anything like that. Um, here's the wire that we're going to run through it. And this wire is what we're going to wrap around the spark plug boot. We got a few zip ties and a couple screws. I think I'm going to mount it right where I mounted my old one. This was a great place for it. And you can see all I did was put two screws in there and it worked uh, really well. It hasn't moved, but works out great. So also got some electrical tape probably going to use that to get the uh to get this wire held on the boot until i can spin it around so it also comes with the directions on the back not quite sure if you can read those but it says wrap the uh wire around the spark plug boot five times okay and then we're gonna uh pick the wire up and put it in the back of the meter here and then we'll start this mower to see if it uh, if it work if it's working. So here we go. As you can see, it's really hard to get to because you got to wrap it around uh, the back side of the boot, back here, not this thick part, the back side. So I'm going to get a little piece of tape to hopefully hold this. in place on the boot and we'll go from there <laughs> let's start way back here another thing is is do not do this when the mower just ran you're gonna burn your finger off so I'm gonna try to wrap it around five times as neat as possible and we'll kind of push it up as we go as we keep wrapping Push it up. There we go. 
zip tie this end around here. They give you some very big zip ties. So I'm going to take this part. that I learned on one of my videos one of my commenters uh, said that make sure next time you fire these mowers up that the garage is open and he's absolutely right I actually was doing some a video about the time master how to keep it running strong maybe I'll leave it at the end but uh, he said next time open a garage and that's what I did there so thanks for that tip if you're watching so let me fire these up not blinking so that means it's working so now we're gonna uh, pull this all the way through here let me set you back up
see if it's good enough. So that's how you put an hour meter on uh, the Toro Time Master. Very simple. Again, got that from Amazon. Comes with the instructions on the back. It's pretty simple. You wrap it around five times. I put a little piece of electrical tape just to hold it so I can finish wrapping it. And then I kind of fold it up and then zip tie, zip tie, and then put it through. And then I cut the excess. Now with this one, I never cut the excess cord. I just let it hang. Had no issues with it, as you can see. 182 hours and it's still working. So, hey, that's how you put uh, the hour meter on the Toro Time Master. And now I know at the beginning of the video, I said uh, Tony with the Lawn Fellows. That's because I did a channel name change. My name used to be TG Lawn Maintenance and I switched it over to uh, the Lawn Fellows. And if this video helped you out, please hit that like for me. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. One of these videos that pop up here, go check one of those out. You got about three seconds. Three, two, one.